What is going on guys, Miles here and today we'll be taking a look at some of the Meet the Squad videos which have been recently released on the official Call of Duty YouTube channel and these are basically short videos around like 30 seconds long made by Sledgehammer Games giving us some information about some of the main characters in the COD World War 2 campaign and I thought these were really well made and they do give some pretty insightful information about the campaign and I'll talk a bit about them afterwards but let's start off with the Meet the Squad video for Red Daniels. They say you're a vet when the ramp drops. It's now or never. Ever since I could hold a rifle, my brother drilled into me what it was to be a hero. Red, shoot it! I'm sorry I waited to tell you about the baby. She's pregnant. Whoa! I'm seeing everything different now. It ain't the world that's changing. It's me. So that was probably my favourite Meet the Squad video and the interesting thing about Red Daniels is he is the person who you will be playing in the World War 2 campaign. You will be controlling him alongside your allies and this guy did enlist on March the 7th 1944 which is quite late into World War 2 but there are still a lot of events which do happen after that point such as the liberation of Rome, D-Day, the liberation of Paris the Battle of the Bulge, there's still tons of events which do go on after that date which will probably be playing in the campaign. We do get a slight look into the childhood of Red Daniels as we do see at one point his dad by the look of it seems to be getting attacked by a wolf and Red Daniels has the opportunity to try and shoot the wolf in order to save his dad and we don't really see the outcome of this and I think this is going to be like the intro mission into the game in order to sort of like teach you the controls of the game which would be pretty sick. And at the end of the video we do learn that Red's wife is actually pregnant and she didn't tell him until he was away from home and actually fighting for the allies which is a little bit weird but it does create this storyline and maybe towards the end of the video we'll find out if Red will ever actually meet his son or if he may die in the war and never meet his son as a consequence of the war which would be super freaking sad and I hope that doesn't happen but we'll find out what happens to the baby at the end of the campaign. Next up we have a video for a person called Zussman, let's take a look. You want to settle something, you do it head on. It's the only way to earn respect. I have to show Pearson I'm ready. You ain't got nothing to prove. She's glad you got my back. I like our odds just fine. I always bet on a winner, sir. To the end? To the end. You may have seen Red Daniels quite a lot in that video and that's because Zussman is actually Red's best friend in the squad and he is the guy who you'll be fighting alongside and he is the guy you'll see in cutscenes when you're just hanging out and he seems like a really cool guy in my opinion and I really hope that he does survive through the war but who knows he may be like killed off which would be super sad but I do want to learn more about this character. The third character we have is called William Pearson and let's take a look at his video. Pearson, our sergeant, never lets up. Easy. You know, see how easy it is. Sounds scared, Private. No, sir. You should be. You're a long way from Texas, farm boy. What about our... We had order! We are cogs in the machine, Joseph. We start going our own way, the whole thing breaks down. And when did you forget that? All right, on me! So this looks like the guy who's going to be controlling the lower ranks such as the privates when we're on the battlefield and he seems like a very strict person and if you don't do what he says he will punish you for it and he'll shout at you until you do it, do it. He can tell you to just run out there and go absolutely crazy and you're going to have to do it if you are Red Daniels because you're just a private and this guy is in complete control of you so I definitely don't want to be on this guy's bad side. The final person we have a video for is called Joseph Turner. Let's take a look. All right, fellas. We got a unique opportunity here. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Get your head down and keep moving! 
When you're leading your own platoon, you find out there's usually two options. Bad and worse. But you focus on your men, because that's what'll get you through. So Joseph Turner is the commanding officer in the Call of Duty World War II campaign and unlike Pearson, this guy does seem to be a lot more calm and he's definitely a lot easier to work with in my opinion. I'm not exactly sure what his role is, he seems to play less of an active role on the front line and kind of like sits at the back and tells other people what to do, but we will learn a lot more about him in the campaign. Overall these videos I think are absolutely amazing and they are going to add a lot more to the story and they definitely do get me hyped up for the campaign which is quite unusual because I never really play the campaigns or if I do it will be quite late into the year once the game is fairly old when I get bored of multiplayer but I think this year I'm actually going to hop on the campaign fairly early and maybe I'll record it for my second channel I'm not exactly sure but I'm definitely going to play it as soon as it comes out because it does seem absolutely awesome. But let me know what you thought of these videos down in the comments below and if you guys are excited for Call of Duty World War 2, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty but I'll see you guys in my next video.